That sounds good. Thank you, Mark. The JCPS superintendent is promising bold changes for the district, including the student assignment plan. Education reporter Kevin Wheatley is breaking down the state of the district speech last night. And what were the main takeaways? I think student assignment has to be the main takeaway from this uh, from his speech. He talked about a lot about that and what it's going to do for the district. Um, it's one of the things that the school board and the administration has talked about for a long time now is making these significant changes, especially in West Louisville, where it's it's really a patchwork of uh, assignment plans where if you live on this street, you go to this school. If you live down the road, you go to another school, that sort of thing. So he wants to bring a lot of uniformity to that process and give people uh, students in West Louisville more choice on where they go to schools and particularly with the feeder pattern um, you know there's about 50 feeder patterns between schools right now he wants to get that down to about 12. and another big topic changing school start times and so how would that work we don't really know a whole lot about what his plan is going to be or what his proposal is going to be he's talked about it in generalities talked about the research behind uh, what's going to happen if they change school start times, particularly as they go for uh, later start times for older students in middle and high school. Um, so I think that's where he's really going to focus. Uh, he talked about how, you know, middle and high school, if they, um, you know, it, the, the, the learning and, and learning loss, that sort of thing, too. If they have to go a long ways, they miss school, that sort of thing, too. So, um, you know, we're going to see a lot of changes with student assignment, with bell times, and, and it's going to be a lot of changes for families and students. And school start times can also affect attendance as well. COVID levels are also dropping. How is the district dealing with that right now? Right now, there's, they're kind of steady as they go. They're really taking on um, their, their plans now with their, their mitigation steps. They haven't changed anything right now. Um, one of the things that Dr. Polio has told us is that as the, the recommendations from the CDC and the state change, he will bring that to the board. We saw that happen before, but the board doesn't necessarily have to go with it as we've seen before. And to read more about the state of the district, head to our website, WDRB.com. Val, Kevin, thank you both.